Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Joining me on the summit today is Julie Allen, the head volleyball coach at Oklahoma Panhandle State University. The Aggies lost back in the season opener in the split 2020-2021 season. That seems like a long time ago, but since that time, haven't lost. Rattling off nine straight wins. The program is nine and one right now. Congratulations, coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me here. Well, listen, I'm excited about the season. I know that uh, it's uh, it's fun to get to see all these wins coming through. You know, programs that are on the rise like your program is. So you're coming in this first season. I know you made some changes. We'll, we'll talk about that as we go along. But just for some historical perspective for folks who may not know, I mean, this for the modern era of volleyball at Oklahoma Panhandle State, this is a record. The, the school's program record is 11 wins in a row. That goes back to 1976. And even for perspective on that, those were AIAW days. Lots of folks don't know AIAW. <laughs> and I know we were talking before we got on the air here, too. Uh, that goes back a little ways. But even, even at this, those were three-set matches, too. Uh, not the five-set matches or the best of five that we get today. But also, and, and this means something now, you know, the, the last time this team had double-digit wins, and I know you're 9-1 right now, but the last time this team had double-digit wins was back in 1980 before volleyball went on a hiatus uh, at Panhandle State, and it's back now, and you have it going strong. So tell me what this means for you then to be this close. It's likely you're going to hit that 10-win mark this season. I think that's a – I'm not going to say it's a given, but I think it's very likely. So talk about that. I'm going to be honest. I, I didn't know the record. I really try to take it day by day, match by match. Um, provide the young female student athletes that I have with as much information I can to get out there and compete. Um, I'm thrilled to be, you know, challenging a record. Um, but I'm going to be honest, that's not something we're gunning for. We're really looking for, you know, being our best out there and getting better and challenging um, our top conference players or contenders that we have. We're well, doing well in the Sooner Athletic Conference. You're talking about conference play. That's where you all are right now, 4-0 and in league play. And you're getting some pretty solid play, too, individually from the girls as well. Essence West had 14 kills in a three-set match on Saturday, and she did so hitting 400 while she was at it. It's a very impressive night. The night before with uh, Selenia Toribio, uh, she had had uh, 24 digs. I want to make sure it's right. 24 digs on the night. Uh, that's pretty good as well, I, and she's been handing out the assists for your team. So you, you, I know those are just two among others that are really getting it done for the Aggies. Yeah, our sport is very unique in the sense that you need everybody playing and people on the bench ready to go and hop in. Um, it can't just be one person taking it down and, and layup after layup. We really, truly need everyone on the court being ready to participate. So, you know, we've had really good shining moments from – our freshman libero, Gracie Souza, to our other setter, Leslie uh, Galarza. She was hitting 750 on the night um, prior to an incident, uh, yeah, an, an injury, but I look forward to getting her back. We have had really good um, showing as well in our blocking from our middle blockers, Ebony and, and uh, Duda. She's done a great, they've done both a great job. I think we had 24 blocks this weekend. Wow. Um, which is really good for them as a whole, as a team. And we did a great job with that. Uh, trying to think about other ones. Um, Essence is amazing. She does a great job seeing the court. Um, Sydney, the op the other outside hitter that was playing, is almost a little bit different style of play. And so it makes it hard for our competitors to have to change their thought process when they're facing two different hitters. So Sydney does a good job at diversifying herself and providing her own kills as well. Sounds like the team is is gelling for you as well. We're talking, by the way, with Julie Allen from Oklahoma Panhandle State, nine and one on the year so far, a nine game winning streak, four and zero in conference play. And by the way, I encourage you please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Midwest Sports Net, we'd appreciate that. It goes a long way for us, uh, Coach. Players of the week too. I mean, you guys are getting a, a, a lot of individual honors five times this season that uh, someone from Panhandle State has been recognized as one of the players of the week in the Sooner Athletic Conference. But there are a lot of new faces in the program, too. You brought in uh, a lot of folks with you, and uh, you've made adjustments in your first year there. Absolutely. I got here. I was really excited to meet um, the few players that had stayed on, and then I needed to add some others to it. You know, first it was finding out what Panhandle State was about, talking to those returning players, and then figuring out my philosophy, which was making sure we developed a really good core set of values and characteristics and what we wanted in a team. Um, so we did bring in 
uh, 12 or so players to help um, international, junior college, freshmen, um, really looking for the right individual. Not only does their skill have to match what we're trying to do, but they have to be academically driven and really searching and looking for um, going towards their fu their future. That's very important because they are student athletes, I know, and I know that's a big deal to you. And having read about you some, I know that the the academic part of it is important to you as well. Absolutely. Um, you know, college is an amazing time to be a part of. I'm glad to be here, but I really look at my job more as a mentor to help guide these um, young women and kind of produce strong young women with ready to get out there in the workforce and dominate. Um, I'm excited for their all their futures outside of volleyball as well. Well, let's talk about volleyball then because it's an interesting <laughs> stretch coming up. And I know this is a big part of the schedule too. You come in with a nine game winning streak on Tuesday, you head on the road and you go to Wayland Baptist and uh, the Pioneers are doing pretty well as well. They're on an 11 match winning streak yeah. too right now. So this should be quite a clash on Tuesday night. And then you come back home and host John Brown on Friday. Talk about the week ahead. Yes, we are back end, end of conference is playing the top five of our last year's winners, one through five. So it will be a battle every night, which is truly what we want. You know, we want to be tested every day. We want to see what we're doing and how we can get better. Um, I look forward to playing Wayland. Um, the team is already giving me notes on what we should be doing. So it seems like they're ready and excited to take on Wayland Baptist, um, as well as having John Brown at home. Um, I'm looking forward to that match at home. Not only is it going to be um, homecoming that weekend, but we'll have a pep rally. So I'm really excited to get the student body involved and, and let them know what we're about. And it's interesting playing volleyball in the spring. Talk about that really quickly, because I know for uh, so many folks throughout the program, I think trainers have to be going more crazy than anybody right now. Uh, but uh, to be playing volleyball in the spring, I mean, what a unique opportunity for you to get to let, as you talked about, let the folks know what volleyball is all about there in Goodwill. It has been a, an interesting year. Absolutely. I really do crave a lot of credit to our athletic trainers and helping make sure our student athletes are healthy and able to compete for a really long time. You know, they've been going since August and we started competing in September, um, took some break off obviously in December and January, and then got to turn back on those engines and let it start roaring. Um, and I think they're doing a really good job at managing not only their mental health, but their body and their physical um, state of mind that they're ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm thankful for athletic trainers as well as the professors being really diligent and understanding when they say, you know, we have to be on the road at noon. So they're okay with letting their student athletes leave at noon. Um, it's It's been all hands on deck and it's been really great as a coach to work here. That sounds fun. Well, I, I appreciate you and success to you and your team for the remainder of this season. We're going to be following the Aggies and, of course, a big, big match in the Sooner Athletic Conference on Tuesday night. No pressure, Coach. I'm sorry. I, but it, this this one's going to be fun to, to watch and, and see these two teams come up, and we'll see how you all fare heading into the postseason. Coach Julie Allen from Oklahoma Panhandle State University in her first season there, and the Aggies are on a roll right now. Thank you, Coach, for taking time with us today here on the Summit. Thank you. Appreciate it.